Alright, what's up YouTube? Uh, I just got home today and I saw there was a package at my door. Well, I don't know if you guys know about this, but I am building a server. So, here's the package. All I did was cut off the tape for you guys, so in the video you guys can see it. But, I don't know what this is, but I'm assuming it's my motherboard, judging by the size of the box. Because there's my hand. So, this is a pretty big box. So, uh, go ahead and open that up, show you guys what it is. First look, yep, it's a motherboard. You can already see the IO shield plate right there. Now this motherboard only has an 8 megabytes uh, memory video card, so I'm definitely not going to be using the online, the onboard memory for too too long. I'm gonna. It has a PCI Express 16 slot, so I'm going to be using that. Here's the uh, back plates for the processor sockets, that's right, there's two, there's the, uh, the booklet, now this is going to be a server, so, you know, it's going to be meant for speed, not for gaming, and also this is a bulk package, this is what they ship to like companies who need a bunch of these, so I didn't get all the grins and giggles of a regular thing, you can see it right here. Like normally you get like all those things you can see it like SATA cables and all that stuff you can see right there on the bulk pack you don't get anything but the aisle shield panel the application CD and the documentary and yeah so that's kind of lame but I've I, mean, I have plenty of SATA cables lying around so I'm fine so here's the actual board let's try and get this out for you guys now this is a dual socket motherboard it has two sockets AMD I know I'm an Intel guy but I went with AMD now check this thing out guys eight RAM slots four there four there now when you get RAM this has to be DDR registered RAM that's what's annoying about it so I have to get two sticks of RAM within the same serial number apart a couple numbers off and one of those sticks goes here in this first dim for this first PC and the next one goes right there and so on then the next one in the blue next one in the blue the next one in the black and so on it's got two processor sockets and I got two AMD Opterons at two gigahertz those things I've heard people getting them all the way up to four gigahertz on stock cooling so I should be able to get those Here's a PCI Express 16 slot, and look at this, I love this. This is a mini PCI slot right there. So what I can do is, is what I did is I ordered a wireless card for a laptop, and I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in right there. Even though this does have dual gigabit LAN, I'm going to use it on wireless just to keep it next to me. It only has two USB ports, but that's okay. It has an extra USB header somewhere right there. So I have an extra two USB ports, but it has dual gigabit LAN, video, serial, serial port, and USB and PS2. What I'm thinking of doing is getting uh, PS2 to USB converters so I can plug in my mouse and keyboard in here and keep these two USB ports free. Then I'll have four free. In the regular PCI slot. But yeah, that's pretty much it all for today. There's a... Uh, four SATA connectors. It requires a 24 pin power connector and an 8 pin. But four SATA connectors, two hard drive connectors. Actually I think there's three, yeah. No, two hard drive connectors and a floppy connector. Which normally I would say I have no clue why people would still use floppy. But this is an older board, number one. And number two, this board can be used to boot floppy things. You know, like BIOS things like that with your floppy but check this out guys look how many fan headers there are one two three four five six okay there's six at the top two four six ready for this seven eight nine ten at the bottom so two four six seven eight nine ten ten fan headers guys that's ridiculous so i'm definitely going to be draining this thing of power with my fans but yeah other than that this is nice it's going to sit next to my computer right there by the way 
there's my computer with the two monitors you know that but there's a third monitor you guys don't recognize that but the reason why is because I got that monitor that's an Intel Atom CPU and that is a joystick type of deal and I am building a home arcade system for a friend of mine got paid 250 bucks to do it why not but uh yeah so uh if anyone else needs computer builds just go ahead and hit me up I can do them cheap I can I mean honestly fifty dollars for a build you pay for the parts and I'll build it for you for fifty bucks send it to you free shipping and everything so go ahead and hit me up if you need anything alright thanks YouTube see ya